Introduction to Ship Load Lines If we try to define load line in the simplest fashion, it will be as follows. Load line is a special marking positioned amidships which depicts the draft of the vessel and the maximum permitted limit in distinct types of waters to which the ship can be loaded. When the load line is drawn over the output characteristic curve in a graph, it makes contact at a point known as the operating point, quiescent point or cue point. As a result of the numerous maritime accidents that have happened at sea due to the overloading of vessels, the significance of having a standard maximum limit for ships was identified long before. However, it took many years to have an international agreement for the universal application of load lines. It was in 1930 when the first International Load Line Convention took place, after which it was periodically amended until the latest one in 2003. Purpose and Necessity of Load Lines The fundamental purpose of a load line is to allow a maximum legal limit up to which a ship can be loaded by cargo. By prescribing such limits, the risk of having the vessel sailing with inadequate freeboard and buoyancy can be limited. A vessel should have sufficient freeboard at all times. Any exceptions will result in insufficient stability and excessive stress on the ship's hull. This is where load lines play an essential role, detecting whether the vessel is overloaded and its freeboard tremendously effortless. However, since the buoyancy and immersion of the vessel largely depend on the type of water and its density, it is not practical to define a standard freeboard limit for the ship at all times. For this reason, the Load Line Convention has put regulations that divide the world into different geographical zones, each having a separate prescribed load line. For example, a vessel sailing in winter on North Atlantic Ocean will have a greater freeboard than on a voyage in tropical zones and freshwaters. Understanding Load Line Marks and Types As we have already defined above, the load line is a special marking positioned amidships. All vessels of 24 meters and more are required to have this load line marking at the center position of the length of the summer load waterline. Standard load line marking, this applies to all types of vessels. Timber load line markings, this applies to vessels carrying timber cargo. These marks shall be punched on the hull surface, making it visible even if the paint on the side of the ship fades out. The marks shall again be painted white or yellow on a dark background, black on a light background. The complete load line markings consist of three vital parts. Deck line is a horizontal line measuring 300 mm by 25 mm. It passes through the upper surface of the freeboard. Load line disc is a 300 mm diameter and 25 mm thick round-shaped disc. A horizontal line intersects it. The upper edge of the horizontal line marks the summer saltwater line, also known as the plimsoll line. Load lines. Load lines are horizontal lines are extending forward and aft from a vertical line placed at a distance of 540 mm from the center of the disc. The upper surfaces of the load lines indicate the maximum depths to which the ships may be submerged in different seasons and circumstances. S. Summer. It is the primary freeboard line at the same level as the plimsoll line. T. Tropical. It is 1 48th of the summer draft marked above the summer load line. W. Winter. It is 1 48th of the summer draft marked below the summer load line. WNA, Winter North Atlantic, it is marked 50 mm below the winter load line. It applies to voyages in North Atlantic, above 36 degrees of latitude, during the winter months. F, Freshwater, it is the summer freshwater load line. The distance between S and F is the freshwater allowance, FWA. TF, Tropical freshwater is the freshwater load line in tropical. It is marked above the T at an amount equal to FWA. Timber load line markings. Ships engaged in the timber deck cargo trade must have a unique set of load lines known as the timber load lines. Such vessels shall comply with the code of safe practices for ships carrying timber deck cargo in construction and other requirements obtaining greater reserve buoyancy and lesser summer freeboard. Timber cargo vessels will have a second set of load lines marked like the standard load lines positioned 540 mm above the center loading disc. The timber load lines letter marking is different and prefixed by L, meaning lumber. LS, lumber summer, its upper edge marks the summer saltwater timber loading. It is situated at a specified level above the plimsoll line. LW, lumber winter, it is 1 36th of the lumber summer draft below LS. Lieutenant. Lumber Tropical. It is 1 48th of the Lumber Summer Draft above LS. LWNA. Lumber Winter North Atlantic. It is at the same level as WNA. 
LF. Lumber Freshwater. It is situated above the LS by an amount equal to FWA. LTF. Lumber Tropical Freshwater. It is positioned above Lieutenant by an amount equal to FWA. International Load Line Certification. Every ship surveyed and marked in accordance with the present load line convention is issued an international load line certificate by the authorized administration. The certificate will have a validity of not more than five years and will contain all vital information, including the assigned freeboard and freshwater allowance. It is to be noted that, after completion of a load line survey and issuance of the certificate, no changes shall be made to the superstructure, markings, equipment or arrangements covered under the survey. If such changes need to be made, the survey's authorized authority shall be contacted. Over to you. Please go ahead if you have more points to mention on shipload lines. We would like to see them as comments. Frequently asked questions. What is a load line in shipping? Also known as the plimsoll line, the load line is a marking that indicates the extent to which the weight of a load may safely submerge a vessel, by way of a waterline limit. Where is the purpose of a load line on a ship? They are horizontal lines extending forward and aft from a vertical line situated at a distance of 540 mm from the center of a disc. They measure 230 mm by 23 mm. The upper surface of these lines indicates the maximum depths to which vessels can be submerged in different situations and seasons. What is a summer load line? It is the waterline up to which a ship may be loaded in seas during summers when waves are lower and less harsh than in winters. Where are load lines exactly located? It is said that a commercial carrier is adequately loaded when its waterline is equal to the plimsoll line which is located on the hull of a ship. How many types of load lines are there? There are two types of load line markings. The standard load line marking is applicable to all vessels and the timber load line markings are for ships carrying timber. We hope you found this video informative and entertaining. Remember, if you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this.